Ms. Schmidt, this visitation is concluded, and we are uh, digitizing the guest book for the memorial webpage as we speak. Thank you. Um, you've done a lovely job with our mother. My sister and I are very grateful. We appreciate you putting your trust in us. Uh, there is the matter of the burial arrangements that we need to discuss. Yes, I am sorry about that issue. My father was supposed to take care of it. He did not want to be the burden and death that he was in life. I completely understand. It's not uncommon for a sibling or a spouse to sell off a family pot surreptitiously. <laughs> it happens quite often. That is strangely comforting. I'm glad. So, there are options we can discuss. Well, my mother was very specific in her will. She said she did not want to be cremated. She had to be buried. I understand. Unfortunately, Glenview has no more inventory. I've checked into some unused plots that may be for sale by owner, but um, I found a few options that are in the wooded area near the chapel. The wooded area sounds peaceful. It is very peaceful. This section of the property, however, was converted to a pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? Yeah, the trees made it impractical for large ceremonies, and in fact it made it difficult to have small gatherings, so it was reserved for beloved pets. Pet burials tend to have less people than people burials, typically. Well, there's got to be another option. Unfortunately, there's nothing else available on such short notice. The wood area sounds perfect. It is very peaceful. The plot that's available is very reasonable at $650, which includes maintenance. Okay, that is very, very reasonable. I should get a plot for myself. Well, there are no contiguous plots available, and there are some minor caveats about being buried in a plot that size. Caveats? Ah, uh, uh, yes, I, I'm sorry, I should have explained. A plot this size is considerably smaller than that of a standard size plot. But there's no need to worry. All we'd have to do is transfer your mother out of her coffin into a pet sized coffin. Of course, that would mean that we'd have to dismember the body and stack it up neatly and efficiently in a pet sized coffin. We'd never done this before, but we're very confident that we could squeeze her in. Does that cost extra? 